Hi Libra, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your love read. Libra, let's see how you're feeling now, how your person is feeling and what action we can expect in this connection. And of course Libra, these are general collective readings, right? Will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind. Take what works for you and leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please place this reading for Libra and send them the messages they need to hear the most for their love life. Thank you. All right, Libra, welcome back all my subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for being here with me again. And Libra, if you're new here, we welcome you as well. Do join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Libra, the newcomers, I'm setting down two sets of cards here. One side will be for you. One side will be for your person. In the center, I'm going to have your dialogue message cards, mutual energies, etc. If this is your reading, Libra, you'll know which side you resonate best with, right? For me, this is going to be person A. This is going to be person B. Bottom of my deck, I have the Six of Pentacles. Somebody wants to come back and, uh, well, have equal give and take with you, it seems. Mm -hmm. Okay, Libra. I do feel somebody was dealing with... Somebody who was maybe an in and out kind of a person, Lord, there was some unrest that was created in this connection, even though there was, it did feel like a very strong soulmate bond. But now there's disappointment, there's stress, there's anxiety, there's overthinking. I have no clue why. I'm going to clarify these cards, Libra. Let's start with some dialogue message cards. Let's see if you guys could say something to each other, what that would be. And then, of course, I'll clarify these cards. So, Libra and their person, spirit. Libra and their person, if they could say something to each other now, what would that be? Libra and their person, thank you. I'm going to take a few more Libra from another deck. And if any of you are looking for personal readings, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me there. Oops, too many... Libra and their person. Libra and their person. Libra and their person. Thank you. Bottom of my deck. Okay, now finish that. Now let's start here. The first card here says, I've been hurt so badly. I don't know if I can really love again. I get nervous to call you. I don't want, I don't want you to ignore me. Yeah, I don't want to be ignored basically. They've typed it wrong, but that's what I get from this. I get nervous to call you. I don't want you to ignore me. I know I have narcissistic tendencies, but I'm not one. I develop these traits to protect myself. I hope I haven't lost you. I did not expect you to enter my life when you did. I wasn't ready. I want to hold you. You are much more attractive to me when you're empowered rather than when you're so insecure. Nothing else matters but you. Okay, Libra, these were some of your messages. If these were resonating, let's start your reading, of course, with an angel blessing card first. Let's see what my angels have for you as a blessing, guidance, advice, or a message for Libra. Blessings of abundance. Well, Libra, you're in luck today. This is my favorite card. And uh, you know what? Abundance for me is not just abundance in money. Abundance is when you're feeling like this. You have everything in control. You by yourself can achieve whatever goals and dreams you have. When the wheel of fortune is in your favor, health, wealth, happiness, everything is in your favor. Well, that's your blessing for today. Blessings of abundance. And here it is. Okay, so let's start with the energy of person A. Let's see how person A is feeling. Then we move on to person B's side. You could be either side, Libra. You would know your own story, right? For me, I'm just picking up on two energies. One is Libra and one is their person. So, Knight of Wands in reverse. Knight of Wands in reverse. 
Okay, one more. I think uh, person A has kind of given up on a player. Somebody's turned their back on somebody who was very wishy-washy. Somebody who they did feel a very strong bond and a you know soulmate connection to. But I think now there's been some kind of judgment passed to say, I don't want to give a second chance here. Mm, well, I'm not even wanting to rebuild this tower now. I don't want any more stress in my life. Then what's the Six of Cups then, person A? Eh? What's the Six of Cups? Ah, Six of Cups is clarified by the Six of Cups in reverse. That's why I got confused. Six of Cups is usually a, a card of somebody, you know, your soulmate returning or something. But person A says, uh uh, too many bad memories, Omkara Taro. The thought of going back to this person, I get reminded of all that they've done. And uh, yeah, I've released them. I'm, I'm releasing this connection. I've, I'm done. I can't have any more sleepless nights. I do not want to rebuild. I've turned my back on this. Why? Why did you do that, person A? Eh? Why did you do that? Magician. What's the magician? Okay, one more. Oh, I think person A was manifesting a brand new beginning with person B maybe at, in the past. They may have been manifesting, oh, you know, I finally met my soulmate and, you know, we're going to have this brand new beginning. But uh, person B could have turned out to be a, an emperor in reverse. Somebody who just wanted power and they wanted to, but they were stubborn and they wanted to control. And uh, that offer never came. That left person A feeling very sad and depressed. And what happened? Was the three of pentacles? Three of pentacles. Ah, there were third parties as well. Third parties which created, created an imbalance and sadness and depression towards person A. Person B could have been doing that, very controlling, very stubborn and my way or the highway and I decide, you know, the way I want things to go. Okay, so how do you feel about the connection now, Person A? Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Person A says, well, I really want it. I really wanted that they should show me that kindness, respect, love and attention. But all they did was make me feel like a loser, made me feel I was not good enough, like same I, i'm not going to repeat the same things this is exactly like the king of uh, i mean the emperor in reverse right somebody who's always playing mind games and i'm the boss and th obviously that makes the other person feel not respected not given their due and uh, person a i think is saying well I'm, i've decided to focus on myself now i can do that all by myself the angels are with me. I'm getting blessings of abundance. I'm concentrating, focusing on making the best version of myself for me. I'm stabilizing my own life. And uh, yes, I'm happy to be at the moment single and focusing on me. And I'm doing a pretty good job of it because I do see myself now in different light. Right? I'm secure. I'm stable. I'm single and very focused on stabilizing my own life. Uh, one more. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, so person A is, I think, kind of uh, seeing person B as, uh, well, very selfish and very self-centered and not taking action, not apologizing to them, not offering any kind of commitment. And person A is saying, it's all right. You know, since I found myself and since I found my own happiness within me, well, I'm not even waiting around for any any small apology with a little fish in it. Uh, because my past experience with person B shows me that they've been very stubborn and selfish. You know, just wanting attention from everybody. So, this is me time. Okay, so what action person A is going to take towards person B or otherwise, I'll open later. Uh, Libra, let's go on to the other side and see really how person B is feeling now. So person B, and oh yeah, before I start person B, I'm sh changing the schedule a little bit of the readings because a lot of you have been reaching out and asking me for career, new love and, you know, messages and stuff like that. I'm just not finding the time because I know you guys like these as well and the love bites. So I'm planned out a different schedule where I can retain these and incorporate other kinds of readings as well. So just kind of take a glance at the description box below i mean that new schedule will be there tell me how you like it otherwise we can always go back to this one i have no problem okay <clears throat> okay so person b 
Uh, how do you feel? Why is the seven of pentacles in your feelings? Why are you disappointed? Oh, they are not just disappointed. They are very, very, very disappointed. They wish they had, you know, instead of creating chaos and then fight or maybe they said some words. I don't know what. This person is highly disappointed that they missed out on an opportunity to invest when the time was right. This person is very frustrated from what I'm feeling. Eight of swords, totally up in their head, overthinking, stressed out. Uh, why? Because now there's no, no communication between the two of you. They are feeling so stuck. They want to get unstuck, but because there's no communication, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to end the fight. They don't want to, you know, you know, be in this imbalanced place, but they don't know how to end the fight either. So this person is just overthinking, stressing, stressing, stressing all the time. What happened, person B? What happened in the recent past from your perspective that, you know, you've put yourself in this mental prison? Eight of Pentacles. What's the Eight of Pentacles? Oh, maybe person B was busy at work. They had some projects going on. They needed to be free of any kind of burden, extra burden. This person could have been really focused on some aspect of their life which took away all their time. I don't think this person was busy to, you know, to, I mean, this person was too busy to take on any more responsibility. They, want, they were probably thinking, you know, I'll just be free and single now and later maybe. But in that, that planning of theirs, which went wrong, they probably lost the trust of person A. Maybe person A got angry with them or started suspecting them that why aren't they, why do they want to be single, why don't they want to be with me. Something happened here and some barriers maybe came up between the two of you. What's the nine of ones? What happened person B? What happened in the recent past? They delayed it for too long. They delayed it for too long. Uh, they always I think had the plan to try again. They left a little window crack open that maybe later, later, you know, I'll just go in and, you know, make things right and whatever toxicity is there between us, I'll just remove that. But I have a feeling they are now feeling they took too long to, to try again. Now too many barriers have come up. I think they're feeling I've lost, you know, my person's trust. If I go back, there'll be a big gate. Yeah, this person is, doesn't have the courage now. They, they just thought and in time, I mean, my person is going to forgive me, right? They always do. And I'll just go back in there and then do it again because right now I don't have the time. Basically, I'm very busy. I need to focus on other things. Now they, they don't have the courage. Okay, so how do you feel about the connection now, person B? Wheel of Fortune. What's the Wheel of Fortune? They feel, they feel that person is very upset with them, very angry with them. They feel they are on the verge of losing their happiness for the future now. They're feeling now very ungrounded. None of their material things are really making them happy. Maybe at one time they were chasing wealth and money. But now they feel they've lost the biggest treasure of all, a future of emotional happiness because that person is upset with them they may be waiting on divine timing or waiting for a stroke of good luck but what's the five of swords then again the person b oh oops okay so i think person b is realizing that their bad behavior this is the behavior we were talking about on person A's side, right? My way or the highway, I'll do things when I want to. Now they're realizing that this kind of behavior has backfired on them. And now they're also realizing that they're, you know, the way they approached person A as very flippant or very playboyish or, you know, flitting in and out whenever they had a little bit of time, maybe they'd show up and then leave again, has caused this love to be drained out. They are now realizing I've lost my, the most precious thing in my life, my two of cups. 
and also realizing now their future is in jeopardy with person A. They feel that uh, person A is upset and angry with them and has totally made a decision not to move forward with them. Okay, so let's see what uh, likely actions are going to happen now. I'm going to take uh, another deck for this one, this one, and this one, this one. Okay, so while I shuffle these cards, pers um, uh, Libra, may I please request you to just hit that like button for me. It really helps the videos to circulate. And yes, it does make me feel happy to know how many of you are interacting with me. And uh, also um, newcomers, when you do subscribe, ooh, this card was hiding in these cards, Libra. There's a lot of heartbreak here. Okay, so newcomers, if you, uh, when, when you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that little notification bell, bell that you'll see. That way then YouTube can notify you when new videos are released, okay? Thank you. So person A. Yep, they have their wall up. This is the action from person A's side. They finally found themselves. They're focusing on themselves and please do not enter. Sign is right there. To say, you know, don't come and disturb my peace now. Why is that an action, person A? Why is that an action from your end? Why is that an action? Seven of Wands. Ah, oh, Devil. Ace of Wands. Ten of Wands. Five of Swords, Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Temperance card. Okay, so like I said, person A is totally into self-love at the moment. They are only focused right now on replenishing their emotional quotient, right? They want their cup to be filled. Even if nobody else is going to do it, I'm going to do it for me. I'm going to stabilize my own life. I'm going to love myself. I'm all right being single because I'm much more at peace than to be sitting and uh, having arguments and fights with uh, somebody who's very toxic. I think person A is put up their boundaries to say this was too much baggage for me, Om Khara Taro. This person was so toxic. I'm ready for a brand new beginning. I'm, I'm meditating. I've gone into self-love. I'm ready to start a brand new journey. Maybe with somebody new. And I have options. I have options. Many, many options to choose from. And this time I'm not going to be hasty. I'm going to be very patient and take my time and choose the best option for me now. Okay. Person B, what about you? What action do you intend to take apart from stressing and worrying and feeling it's all over? Will you take any action towards person A or otherwise? Person B, action. Action from your end towards person A. Knight of Cups. Well, they are ready to express some emotion, it seems. Both of you have the Knight of Cups. So, person A is looking forward to emotional interactions. We're probably with somebody new. I don't think they made up their mind. They're still like standing at the front door, right? So, if person B can come in like this, who knows? Okay, so explain this to me, please, Knight of Cups. Why is that an action? The lovers, the magician, justice. They want this. They're very drawn towards person A. They, they know they have this magnetic pull towards person A. They are manifesting. They're manifesting if... Somehow they, they are the ones who can go towards person A and start from scratch. They want to be that new love. Forget about the past. Let's just start again. I'm going to offer you a cup of love. I want to romance you again. Basically what Libra, this is your card. They want to now balance the scale out. And uh, our overall energy was also the six of pentacles, right? So they do want to now have that equal give and take. They want to do things right. But let's ask a little more. And right under that, I had the King of Cups as well. 
So if they come back, come in as the Knight of Cups, they are hiding that they have much more love to offer if it's if this is accepted. Okay, let me take a couple more. Uh, give me some more, please, for person B's action. Apart from what I have on my table, give me three more, please. Three or more. <laughs> we are open. Okay. Oh, four of wands. Yes, they want a forever. King of swords. I said it. I said it first, spirit. I said it first. This is what person B wants. Let's erase the past, person A. Let's start again. Let's start anew. Let's transform. I want to come and tell you the truth. And this time when I come and tell you the truth, look at my hands. I don't even have that sword with me. I just want to surrender my truth to you that I want a forever with you, the four of ones. I want to make things right with you. Now, whether person A chooses to have them back or not is a different ball game altogether. There's so many of you. Some of you may take them back. Some of you would say, okay, I, I think they're the devil and they're going to do this again. So that will be on your individual, I guess, uh, energies. But this is your general reading. I hope you enjoyed it and don't miss the description box below because there are changes coming to the schedule so you know what to expect when. Okay, that's all I have for you. Till next time then, love and light. Take care. Namaste Libra.